In this video, we are going to be checking out some new UI plugins inside of Roblox Studio. Hopefully we find some cool ones that we can start using. This should be quite fun. The first one we have right here is UI Design Plus by Estelle Rex. So it has a pretty good uh, rating. Before we purchase this, let's take a look at some more details as to what we are going to be actually spending our money on. So UI Design Plus, let's read the description here. A plugin to help streamline development of UIs in Studio. All right, more from Stellrex, we have Roundify in a UI Design Lite for free. We're gonna check this out later, but for now, let's go ahead and purchase UI Design Plus. Okay, let's go ahead and try this plugin out. Uh, where is it? Okay, it's right here. UI Design Plus. Okay, we have a ton of options here. At first glance, I actually think this looks pretty good. We have, okay, let's start at the very top. We have Roundify. I'm guessing this is UI Corner. Uh, we have Drop Shadow, actually. Auto Adjust. Z index, we have color for shadow, create shadow, we have position, which is very helpful. Uh, we have class converter here as well. I don't think it has like the scaling properties, but this is still very helpful. Um, okay, let's go ahead and create a UI. So I'm going to place this right here on the side. So we're gonna add a screen, GUI. We're gonna add a frame, canvas. All right, let's try position right here. Boom. All right, that's cool. Uh, changes the anchor as well. And now let's go ahead and actually make a button. So I'm gonna go button. I'm going to change the size. Okay, let's go ahead and try the roundify. So 15 and roundify. Boom. All right, it's pretty cool. Okay, we're gonna add a gradient. So we have some color to our button. Uh, I'm gonna go for blue. Let's always say safe option for a nice looking button. Uh, negative 90 right here. Okay, I will try a nice shadow. Let's see how this works. So I'm gonna make this a bit dark. Kind of like this right here and we're gonna go button and create all right that's pretty cool um we can change the angle right okay so i'm gonna go undo offset x zero and hit create shadow there we go that is actually pretty cool that's actually quite useful uh, we have class converter let's go ahead and give this a shot so button right here i'm gonna go for image button convert and there you guys have it take a look now my final verdict i think this plugin is very useful right, let's go ahead and see what other plugins we have that we can use all right i'm gonna search ui uh we have ui editor a second one we have ui suite pro auto scaler we have auto UI scale, flashlight, UI scale plugin. Okay, so this one I actually don't have. Uh, let's go auto scale plus. Let's go ahead and grab this. Okay, perfect. Uh, plugins and we have auto scale plus right here. I actually have the light version. Uh, let's take a look. So smart scale, unit conversion, and we have a plus menu. Size and scale by default, position and offset by default. That's actually pretty cool. Um, let's see. Okay, okay. So our button is still is still using offset. Let's go in uh, smart scale, and boom. Uh, we have manual conversion here. Pretty cool. So my final verdict for Auto Scale Plus, I think this UI is also all right. So because I don't want this video to be too long, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. That will be it. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video. Also, check out our store. Peace out.